Okay. And then we slide it back. And only when I need to pull it off, take it back. Okay. I'm flexible. Sure you are, man. Do a lot of things, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you are? No. I'm right, gentle. I said I'm not. Oh, you're not? Okay. I know it's not. No, you actually, I'm talking about you put on the side of the watch boat. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. Because then I can keep doing my spot therapy. You take care of your work. Say it again. You take care of your work. Yeah, okay. I sure do. Question. Uh, you said just parting, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you're going to break it when you go back home? Mm -hmm. Son too came out. He was eating an apple. <laughs> no, I was brushing his teeth. I think when his came out, right? You know what I'm saying? She said the tooth fairy gonna come and visit you. <laughs> he walked out the room. I handed her a dollar. I said, "Put this in over there with the tooth fairy." <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the tooth fairy, not real, but you know, she, the tooth fairy gonna give mommy some money to give to you because you lost your tooth. I start bugging up laughing because my mama told me about the tooth fairy when I was little. Mm. And lo and behold, under my pillow, in a brown, uh, a brown wrapped, was my tooth and a silver dollar or, or a two dollar bill. Depending on what age I was. When I was real little, it was a half dollar. Mama, look, the tooth fairy came. Oh, I see, baby. I got old. I realized, Mama, you was the tooth fairy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I seen all my teeth. I'm, one day I'm going through her drawers trying to find something, and I seen my daddy gold teeth because my, my dad was in the military, mm -hmm. and he had gold fronts, and when he passed away, they took his gold fronts out, and she kept it for keepsake for me, thinking I might, you know, eventually either want to get them put in or wear it as a necklace. So in that same drawer, I'm seeing grandma's old coins because my grandma used to collect gold buffalo coins. You know, the Indian here, the nickels, mm -hmm. they had the buffaloes on. She collected all type of old coins. And uh, in that same drawer was my baby teeth. Mm -hmm. All my baby teeth. I said, Mama, I said, uh, when the tooth fairy collect your tooth, do they hold on to them? And she wasn't thinking about what I said, not knowing I looked at her drawer. <laughs> and then I said, Mama, you the tooth fairy. She bugged up laughing. Mm -hmm. She said, you seen my drawer? I said, yeah. 
She gave me a hug and had me laugh, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes it can be, you know. Yeah. But like. Yeah, I wasn't planning to do no braids, but my sister funeral on Monday. I'm sorry to hear that. So I'm trying to just. Oh, uh, who was she? She was 31. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Is she a younger sister? No, my one of my big sisters. Oh wow. Cousins were murdered before that, the year before that. Mm -hmm. And I lost my uncle, who I was taking care of in a senior home right when COVID happened. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I realized is that, you know, on the earth you feel pain in your body. Because it's being the physical, right? But the spirit is eternal. Never dies, it only transfers. So mm -hmm. they may not be with us in physical form, but they're still with us in the spiritual form. And you're not in the place of suffering anymore because they're not in the physical body anymore. So when I was mourning my aunt, thought about how big her smile was and how she made macaroni and cheese but didn't was lactose intolerant and made real good macaroni and cheese it made me read the dictionary when I was little because I was a hyper child and I didn't like sitting still and I really enjoyed playing outside and when I got in trouble she made me read the dictionary and I thought about all of that I had a smile on my face and I just began to celebrate her life instead of mourning passing I realized that she probably would want people to celebrate her life she was a phenomenal person so I want to encourage you in your time of mourning to celebrate the life of your sister and think about everything that makes you happy about her I don't know about that one my sister died on my birthday on your birthday? Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a long time now. You just recently had a birthday? Yeah, August. August the 23rd. Okay. You have a lot of good memories with your sister? Yeah. Yeah, of course. to brick layer. Just, just, just pour it. Okay. Okay. I got you. <laughs> I 
I've been doing this for a week now. I got you. <laughs> I'm a bricklayer, so that way they fall into the spaces. No. no, I was going straight. She was turning. That's correct. No other property or vehicle was hit. Besides, I'm beside my two wheels, what you mean? Yeah. That's it. Uh, if that's all you got, <laughs> I was thinking 50, but if you got 25, I'll take it. If you got 20, I'll take it. That's on uh, cash up. Okay. Uh, damn, I will. I should have did this later then. Say it again. Yes, I should have did this later then for mine. Checked on him till later, but that's all I had on me till my check to. So, then I'll take it. Uh, Take the 20, you know, if you want to slide back by later, that's cool. Yeah, what time you leaving? Uh, shoot, I don't really like around 9. But oh, cool. cool. If it's today, it's cool. If it's tomorrow, it's cool. I ain't pressuring you about it. I know you'll get it to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, you trying you know, want to look your best for your, your sister's funeral. And again, I'm sorry for your loss. I was asking what I'm saying. One of my clients just lost her husband. Mm -hmm. And all these people just dropping, it's gonna be another big boom. Yeah. I know I don't have any children yet, so it's probably gonna be one of them that's gonna have the baby boom. Mm -hmm. That's around I had twins the first time I had some. Mm -hmm. Waited so long. Yeah. I've been helping to raise other people's children since I was. Retain myself. Babysitting and teaching and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. All my family thought I was gonna get married and have children first. Before all my brothers did, but my, my older brother ended up having five. three-sided mirror. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, and I love it. Cause nobody told me that thing. I love the mirror. I had did some some blue braids on myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like as soon as he broke that mirror, I just slowed down doing my hair. Mm -hmm. And I ain't doing my hair since first I mostly mm -hmm. just stuck to the Africans or something. They got a um dual accordion mirror that sticks to the wall. Thank you. 
I part my heart really nearly my heart grow better. Okay. So this is three sections here. I still try to be gentle just in case because everybody got pressure limits. Mm -hmm. I found that out when I was getting my hair braided. Uh, when my mama braided my hair, that shit hurt. But when I braided my hair, it didn't hurt. It's like, okay, I know my pain threshold. I was braiding this six year old boy, right? Mm -hmm. So I want my hair braided. I started braiding his hair. He started squirming in the seat. I'm like, I'm not even braiding no more. Mm -hmm. I said, put the milk. He, I want my hair cut now. <laughs> I cut it as soon as I got done. He looked at himself in the mirror. He gave me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no more. <laughs> he was like, Mama. Ah, he was screaming. Hollering. Turning left and right in the chair. I'm like, come on, man. Let's take a walk. Grab him by the hand. Took him for a walk in the shop. Set back down. <laughs> you all right now? Okay. This is still almost like two sections, so I split that in the middle. Bing. Let's see. So over here, you got two boxes, and over here you got one box. here right big and I got this part in line with this box see that right here mm -hmm. okay so this is this her yeah no this this her is this one mm -hmm. yeah, so you see this box right here yeah I got this part going in line with that box going straight across right mm -hmm. but over here 
on this side, we got, this is separated to two boxes between here and here, if you can see it. Right here. Mm -hmm. These two boxes here. You see what I'm saying? The hair in front of this line right here, you got your hair separated into two boxes right here. Do you want me to split it down the middle and go in between this box and make this section, you know what I'm saying, two rows? Because over here is, is one box and over here is two boxes. If I split it down the middle, because the section is literally about... That two right there? Uh-huh. I can split it and make it two sections. So from right here to what? No, so what I'm saying is this, the thickness here, this thickness between this line and this line, I can split that the line piece, and yeah, make it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you like the mirror? Mm -hmm. Beauty supply. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like tilted. Mm -hmm. There you go, Bing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get a different mirror that everybody else didn't have. They had the black. You said junky. Huh? You said junky. You mean like uh, add some stickers and stuff to it? Mm -hmm. Well, I try to keep it unisex. What do you mean? Okay. It's stickers? True. Just, you know, I want to keep it as masculine as possible, but also attractive to, you know. Oh my lord. Just saying, like, I don't keep a lot of pink in my station. <laughs> Sorry. No, but you should have just... Decorated real good. Yeah. I'm here. Draw something on that song. If you know how to draw. Oh, yeah, do. Right, so. Paint. 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 Oh, you're right. Yeah. Paint on it. Put some in there. Yeah. Yeah. Put a Disney character on there. My favorite Disney character. While I was just thinking about that, I was thinking about Donald Duck. Oh, yeah. You like Donald? Yeah. Mickey, yeah. Mickey is my favorite. Look. Mickey is definitely one of my favorites. Nah. As a matter of fact, I need to, well, I need to go back and watch some more cross old cartoon. Sitting in there playing jazz with the uh, pots on their head, eating mm -hmm. the keys. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I ain't seen that in so long. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was eating peas, boss. You ain't eating no peas. <laughs> I eat them with a fork. <laughs> I eat mine with a knife. I, I think that's how I, I'm watching the cartoons. My mama called me for dinner. I'm eating peas. Uh, like the crow did watching the uh, the Mickey, the, you know, the Looney Tunes uh, cartoons, eating peas just like the crow, off a knife. Where did you learn that from? <laughs> I'm trying to explain it. I'm acting like the, the crow in the cartoon, mm -hmm. bugging up laughing. You know, I haven't seen Pink Panther in so long either. I just watched the show I was on. Yeah, well, it's definitely one of the shows. Definitely. <laughs> you 
know, they actually had a, um, on, on Nick at Night, they actually had a live uh, show of the Pink Panther. I Meaning, like, there was a guy called the Pink Panther, and he was a spy. On one of the shows on Nick at Night. I've probably seen it. I just don't remember it. It do sound familiar, though. I think the character that played I Dream of Jeannie, that, that played the husband on that show, I Dream of Jeannie, where she was like the, the genie in the bottle, oh, and he yeah, wished yeah. free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her husband, I think her husband was the uh, the Pink Panther uh, spy in the live action, you know. Because you know, for most cartoons, they created like a, a TV show for it. Mm hmm. I do remember the man with the soup, the mustache. Mm hmm With the black hat, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the door. What's up, Dre? Oh, yeah, I got you. What's up, guys? What's up, bro? Fishing? I ain't got no cards. Okay. I got a little box of more cards. You don't need cards to fish. The, the card is just a point of contact. You know what I'm saying? Right. You fish by communication. Right. As long as you do the exchange with the number, you in there. You know what I'm saying? With the fur exchange. Try to do at least 10 people a day. Front door. That's my co worker, Dre. Good young man. Awesome bar too.
you a seafood boil. Mm -hmm. Seafood boil? Mm -hmm. You don't like seafood? Mm -hmm. My brother, my brother made some mussels and clams and lobster. And some crab, soft shell crab. And it smelled good when I got home. Mm -hmm. I said, let me go over there and smell some. Shrimp, and some fried catfish. Let's see if I got some snow crab. Front door. I like those spiny, big, thick crab legs. The snow crab ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the big old. And clusters, big ones. No, um, what's the other one called? No, um, what, lasting? Take one down. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you can't afford it right, you could just set the little piece that's I, and when I get home, I can take down the other braid, mm -hmm. and I could just join it together. Okay. Yeah. I think. Instead of having to go through all of that, I think, let me see. Okay. So 
So that piece you're talking about is going to be over here on this side right here. Dubai, take me to Dubai. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Here, the food in Dubai is really good. Or let's go to uh, Dubai. 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 Can't smoke in Dubai, though. That's fine. They will not let you uh, meditate at all. Mm -hmm. So I got to go somewhere where I can meditate. And... I'd be more definitely you know, I want to go skiing, though. Really? Colorado was good for that. I met, a, I met a girl from Colorado. She showed me some pictures of like the the hiking areas there. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Just in case that bungee jump let go, mm -hmm. the parachute is my uh, saving grace. I want to uh, jump off a cliff with a uh, paraglide, para go paragliding. Yeah, like a little bird. Yeah, yeah fly. Yeah. I even uh, seen they got like the little suits that you can put on where you can you jump can off. Yeah, yeah I, I like stuff like that. I definitely want to. It's an animal that does that. It looks like a chipmunk. I forgot what it's called. Well, I don't know exactly what it's something. Yeah. A it's, wine or something. Yeah. It's fur. It catches the air. And he's able to hang by for me. I saw that. I was like, yep. I want to do that right there. Mm -hmm. What I like about Miami is the fact that it's hot. They got a melting pot of cuisine there. Like they got Cuban food, they got Jamaican food, they got African food. And the fact that, you know, it's a lot of Afro Cuban music there, and a lot of it's bass heavy. Because, you know, everybody into souped up cars and, you know, heavy bass with the speakers. You know, I had always just like that type of vibe. I went there for a wedding with my uncle. And we stayed in the penthouse suite. And of course, you know, all my uncle friends play football. I play football too, so we look like an NFL team hmm. coming in there. So we got red carpet treatment. So imagine a room filled with brothers over six feet tall, mm -hmm. about 20 of us in a penthouse for the homeboy's wedding. Ordering DoorDash, going to the buffet, stepping out to the club with wristbands on. I said, I like this. I said, I'm coming back here. I said, I'll put that right in there for you. Oh, you like clubbing? Yeah, I like dancing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm the type of person where if I'm in the club, I ain't just going to stand around and look. I might stand around and look for a second just to kind of scope the scene and make sure it's safe. But once I find my vibe and my songs come on, I ain't gonna stop dancing all night. Mm -hmm. I'm dancing with everybody in there mm -hmm. that like to dance and vibe with me. I'm dancing yeah. with everybody. I'm you, should, you should go to Viva or Mexican Night. Oh, yeah, I love Viva. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I love the uh, Afro Cuban night too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I like the dance hall, the Jamaican dance hall type style music. Where you get the dirty wine and all that. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you a section. I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold the mirror for a second. You see how I parted these last ones? So I got them in a bricklayer pattern, right? So they fall in between each other. So when you braid it, each braid falls in between like this. Mm -hmm. You see that? This part, it's all sectioned off right, but this is thicker. If I if I box these in, like so. You okay with this size right here, or do you want it to be smaller? See what I'm saying? It's fine. It's the back of my head. Okay. I can't see it. It's not gonna bother me. Okay. I just, you know, that's why I want to show it to you before I just did it. I want to make sure you're comfortable. Mm -hmm.
certain way you want the top. Got the back armor section off there. This part there. Mm -hmm. Sure. I just need that background. I ain't got no second mirror. Okay. 